This video is a short video about online resources for ham radio operators. Um, there's a lot of great websites out there that um, I'd use pretty much on a daily basis, and the people that are just getting into the hobby, they don't really know anything about these, and um, so this video is going to give everybody a heads up. The most common websites that uh, people are going to use are going to be qrz.com, eham.net, and the ARRL, or the um, National Association for Amateur Radio, um, and it stands for Amateur Radio Relay League, is what uh, ARRL stands for. Um, and we'll start over here at QRZ and basically see what this uh, website's all about. Um, this site is mostly used for people who are at the computer but are also on the radio. Most of the time, hey, I have my laptop here and my, um, you know, and I'm talking on my radio here. So um, the whole thing about it is, is that you know. When I hear somebody's call sign, like let's say I, I heard um, I heard AC7X, AC7X, that's my dad's call sign, but whatever. Um, we would search that, and it would come back, and it would say, oh, um, it would say the person's name, their address, uh, where they're located, um, and um, yeah, and you can also look at uh, detail... Um, you know, where they're at. You can also look at a map of where they're located uh, as well. And that's uh, for people who are using directional antennas. It's handy to, you know, figure out where somebody is. Um, so you'll be talking on the air to people and, and you, can, um, uh, you can look them up. And then a really nice feature of this website is you can log contacts with people. So you just hit log new contact with this person. Um, and it's kind of an it's kind of an easier way to keep a logbook, um, and um, yeah, you would just type in all this information. You know, the time you started talking, what band you were on, the frequency, you know, the frequency mode, other info, and and all this stuff here. And you know, and I would just where to hit send on this. Oh yeah, then I would hit save. And it would save. And these are all the um, contacts that I've made and logged them on um, on uh, qrz.com. Um, qrz.com is a great uh, place to uh, to log contacts if you are using a computer a lot, uh, just because you know you can look up the person. Um, on qrz.com because qrz.com uh, is tied into the FCC database um, and it's just nice because uh, you know it's online it's all right there um, and that's kind of nice um, I wonder how many pages of, of people that I have oh wow 79 I have so I have 79 different contacts on here and in 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 three or six, excuse me, six pages. Now this is just contacts that I've done online. If you actually get my logbook right here, this is my actual logbook. It's a mini logbook. I don't want a big one. So if you look at this, I have pages and first DX. The first person I ever talked to across the world was in Spain. And his call sign was Echo Alpha 3 Juliet Echo. And I remember talking to him. He was a really nice guy. And that happened um, May 14th, 2011 at 11 p.m. So, cool. So, anyways, this is my logbook. There is pages and pages and pages and pages. I mean, there's... Yeah, that guy was in Cuba, and he was awesome. Yeah, so this little, this logbook is about half full of contacts. These are just the contacts I've logged. I'm sure I've logged more than that, but 
Anyways, back to this video. So QRZ.com is cool because, you know, you can figure out who you're talking to, you can log contacts, um, you can look up news about amateur radio, announcements, ham fests, conventions that are going on, contests, headlines, there's forums. So if you have to answer or ask a question, hey, this is a great place to do it, swap meet. Um, you can post your radio gear for sale and stuff like that. Um, and there's other resources, um, you know, study guides for people and, and stuff like that. And um, the next website we're going to look at is eham.net. Now, this website is pretty cool. You can also look up somebody's call sign um, in the call sign search thing. So let's put a mine, Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Oscar, Charlie, Charlie Delta. See what comes up. My internet's really slow right now because I'm uploading some videos onto YouTube for everybody. Oh, I forgot to log in. Screw it. Anyways, you can you can also on eham.net you can also look up people's call signs like you know on QRZ or QRZ. Um, but where this website is super kick ass is that the forums are awesome. Um, and the reviews are awesome. So if you click reviews, uh, if you're going to buy a radio, you better check the reviews on eham.com because if you don't, use a damn fool if you don't. So let's go to the review section and let's look up, for example, um, my Kenwood. My, I have a Kenwood handheld. It's a THF6A. And let's say, let's see the reviews about it. All right, so Kenwood THF6A, right here. Ta-da! Success. This is kind of hard to do from your iPhone. And then you just go to, like, show all reviews, because this is just one person's review. And now you're going to see... <laughs> you're going to see um, on the review page, you're going to see the manufacturer's uh, web page for it, you're going to see a description of what it is. It's a compact handheld transceiver. It does uh, 2 meters, 1.25, and it does 70 centimeters. Uh, it's dual receive. It also has a wideband receive. Um, it's a really awesome little thing. It costs, you know, MSRP is 425. The average rating is 4.3 out of 5, and it's been reviewed 249 times. So there's 25 pages of reviews on this, on this thing here, um, and that's cool. Um, I'm going to scroll through and try to find mine, um, because I know I wrote a review on it, because I love that damn radio. Um, I don't, it's not my field radio that I take out, like, on an emergency response or whatever, just because, you know, it's a $400 radio, and it was a gift from my dad for getting my technician license, so. Oh, there's my review right there. Uh, perfect for the new ham. Uh, the newer ones have improved. Bigger battery. Um, better written user's guide instructions, it's tougher keypad, and yep, that was me, and I did that review May 22nd, 2011. Um, so that is eham.com. There are, it's the, the place to review stuff. If you are going to uh, review a radio, you better, you better check it out at eham.net. Um, and you better call me, too, because, damn it, I'm really good at helping people find stuff. Um, um, so, their reviews are awesome because they have um, sections for everything from amplifiers, antennas, boat anchors, which are, boat anchors is a slang term for these big ass old radios. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Elmer questions, like if you have a question you can ask an experienced ham or me. Um, all kinds of different, just propagation stuff, everything is on here, um, so you can ask questions. And the last website is the ARRL website. Um, I tell everybody to join the ARRL uh, for a couple different reasons. Um, you get a free magazine every month that has ham stuff in it, and it's really useful. Uh, the magazine is called uh, QSP. 
and it is a very, I don't have a copy lying around right now because I think someone borrowed it, but be that as it may, it's like cheap to join. I think it's like 25 bucks a year or something, um, and yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, you can also, um, uh, KF7OCD. You can also look up people's call signs on this on this site um, as well. Um, some sites you have to be logged in. Um, actually, I think most of them you do. So you see here, George, you are the second. There's my address, my license number, my FRN, and all this other stuff. Um, so it's pretty cool. Like all all these sites, you can you know, type in somebody's call sign when you're talking on the radio to them and get their info and, and stuff like that. Um, all of them have forums. Um, they just do it a little bit differently. Um, yeah, the ARRL is a popular site. Um, if I had to rank these sites in popularity, <sighs> QRZ is the most popular. Ah, sorry, I'm yawning. QRZ is the most popular site, followed by Eham, and uh, followed by the ARRL website. And that's just what I see from my perspective. Um, but yeah, I use uh, QRZ.com and Eham.net on pretty much a daily basis. So uh, um, they're two great websites for new hams. So hopefully this 11-minute, uh, 12-minute video helped you in uh, um, finding some resources. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.